Went to the restroom, came as an agent, came back as a team leader. One of the owners, she stopped me in the hallway. She said, I think you make a good team leader. So she's good at manifesting stuff if you ever need anything manifested. I do. I'll reach out to her and ask. I might need some help. So, so talk us through, I know that you've got, um, you know, you, you've, you've really leaned into this role over the last three years and you're having success and you're loving what you're doing. And I have, I have, um, in my notes that one of the things that you're doing is a guaranteed path to six figures. Can you talk us through or talk the audience through kind of what that looks like? Is that part of your recruiting? Is that part of your training with your current agents? What does that look like? Yeah, we just, well, yes, to both. I mean, we, we, we wanted to create a, um, a MOFR, um, and something that, you know, would attract most people that we spoke to and that we talked to on a daily basis want to make their goal, income goal is a hundred thousand. So mm -hmm. they want to make six figures. So we felt like we wanted to kind of simplify it. It's very interesting because it's, it's so, it's, we just, so it's so simple and, um, just getting people to buy into doing, doing the work and teaching them how important the activities are. And they're starting to really embrace it, but it's definitely attracted quite a few people to the market center. Yeah. That's amazing. Can you talk us through it? So for an, another team leader that's out there that, that's like, gosh, you know, I'm looking for something in the shift. I'm looking for mm -hmm. something to, to bring our agents in, something that's tangible that they can take and go do. What does it look like? I want to show agents have not, a lot of most of the people in this industry. What I'm, I've learned since becoming a team leader is that the coaching and training really doesn't exist. And so creating a business plan, I've, a ton of agents have told me when I spoke to them, I said, what is, what's your goal? Did you set a goal yet for next year? And they say, yes. And I asked them if they have a plan and they say no. And so I want to discuss a plan with them, simplifying to get that, them getting a six figure. So it's really just them contacting a certain amount of people on a, on a daily basis, doing one open house a week, and then um, showing them the simplicity of trimming the year down to 40, 40 weeks instead of 52, having them set one appointment a week, and showing them that they don't have to have a crazy conversion rate uh, in order to achieve the six-figure result. It's, it's, so that's really all we're doing is just I give them one appointment a week, one open house every weekend, and um, – I, I, I have them use a 50% conversion rate on listing appointments set to taken. And then I asked them to take in the close. I let them pick their conversion rate. A lot of them say 100%. So I said, well, let's just be conservative and we just keep trimming it down. And I just show them for every um, listing that we take that we market properly, we should attract one qualified buyer. And our average commission here is about 5,000. So, or a little bit above that. So I show them that 20 transactions closed gets them to that result. And they get to take 12 weeks off. It, it's interesting. In my coaching, I find often that people think their conversion rates are higher than they are. And so the the fact that you're in your in your in your plan for six figures, right? Your MOFR, the 50% conversion, I think, is probably more realistic. And you probably mm -hmm. as far as if we're going on one appointment a week, you could expect to get one every two weeks then, right? To get it on the market. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. So I want to make this really easy for for other team leaders to to follow. And so I just want to kind of tell you what what I took from from the the conversation and then say, OK, if we were going to make this a one page, right, so that a new team leader or maybe a seasoned team leader that's just looking for something new to do mm -hmm. could follow this. So what you're saying is you're basically taking something that could be complex, right, a six figure income and you're making mm -hmm. it very simple or bite-sized for your agents. And so right. you're boiling down the number of contacts they need. You're saying one open house a week. We're gonna base all of this on a 40 week year instead of 52 weeks. So the mm -hmm. agents that come into business that say, oh, I just want flexibility, they hear 12 weeks off and they're super pumped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Super pumped, yeah, well, I let them pick. I let them pick too. Like how many weeks do you want off? And a lot mm -hmm. of them say none, they wanna work. I'm like, well, that's not realistic. So let's mm -hmm. be, you know. Let's and you have to take time off. Yeah, let's be realistic. So we use the economic model, by the way. We created a goal tracker and each agent gets a goal tracker. And to simplify that, we just have them put their numbers in. It's great because we create the goal in, you know, and we plug the numbers in for them. I just show them how to use it. Um, we simply have to go to the goal tracker daily, put their, their calls and their contacts, their appointments set under contracts and close. And all the numbers are already there for them on how many contacts they need to make and and, and all, I set all the conversion rates on the um, 
inside the goal tracker. So it's already set for them. So can you watch in real time what's happening with this group? Yep. Yeah, the whole time. I use one. We have one for the ALC, and then we have one for everyone else. And, and um, everybody else can see. It's nice because there's a lot of accountability. I was committed to co- creating a community here where, where, where the agents are as committed to each other's success as they are in their own. It's part of our MVVP here, and I want them to be able to see each other's numbers so that they can go, hey, I saw that you're a little short on your goal, and I almost have their own 15th protocol that they, that they can you know, do with one another. So I love this. This is like this type of accountability is my jam. So I'm like, I wish I had this right for our team or for our coaching clients. And so when I look at it and I say, okay, we're, we're, we've got the conversion rates built in, you've got, you've got a tracker for them. So you've taken the hard work out of it. They just, it's plug and play. They're, they're putting in their numbers. We're looking at a 50% conversion. We're looking at that they would need somewhere around 20 transactions with what your average commission dollars are, which is 5,000. The the other thing that I'm hearing though, is you've got a lot, you, not only is, do you have this, you also have role play set up. You also have consistent training on the calendar. So if an agent comes to you and says, I'm really struggling, you can redirect them to great. I'd love to see you in the mindset class on Friday or the mindset mastermind on Friday. Hundred percent, yeah. Well, and, and being grateful to be in Gary's mastermind group, and 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 he said to build a robust training calendar, and we took that really seriously. This year, we started creating our calendar for twenty twenty three a couple of months ago, and so listening to Gary, it's in, in addition to having our supporting our agents, inviting co op agents for our ALC and for all the agents here to build profit share, it's so much easier just to invite them, you know, to some of the classes and the curriculum that we already have set up. And also per Gary interviewing one agent a day Mm -hmm. and asking them, you know, telling them we're building out our training calendar for 2023 and asking them what they think would be the greatest, greatest contribution to our industry and to their businesses and having them come up with suggestions when a lot of times I already have a class that they bring up, I'm like, oh, great. Yeah, that's a great idea. Actually, we already have that. We'd love to have you be our guest. We have limited seating. You know, it's on Thursdays from this time to this time. And so we think you'll be able to make it this Thursday. Or is next Thursday better for you? Mm-hmm. So it's it's interesting because I've heard, you know, clear, clearly Gary talk about utilizing the classroom as leverage, right? It's one of the greatest recruiting tools that we have available to us. I also have to look at this and say it seems so organized that I, it does seem like this would be leverage for you to make sure that you're in constant relationship with the current agents you have and building mm-hmm. that those top of funnel leads for new agents to come in. Yeah, yeah well, it's, it, t- it took a ton of pain of not having it and not doing it that way to create awareness that how important it is. Mm-hmm. Gary's right. And <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> I'll tell them that you said that. So, Rick, I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube. Like it, share it, so that way everyone can see um, all of your words of wisdom. Thank you so much. Appreciate you having me. Thank you, Tom.